Hey guys, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. My name is Allie and I am going to be sharing today how to get yourself out of a staleness in your sex life or a lull in your sex life with your partner, um, give you some tips and tricks to keep you from getting bored um, and to help reignite some of that desire and spark and more sexual energy with your partner. Uh, we're filming in a different space. It might look a little bit different. I'm just trying out a new room today. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's video and we'll get started. So first things first, having your sex life go stale is a completely normal thing to happen. Um, I don't want you to, you know, get freaked out about your relationship or wonder if your partner is right for you or have any questions about yourself and what's going on with you. Um, it's completely normal for you to have ebbs and flows in your sex life, um, in your relationships. Um, everybody goes through these things, so I don't want you to feel like you're alone. And sometimes too, when we're in a bit of a staleness or we're just not into having sex, that's okay. That's just a normal part of life, right? We go through different parts in our lives. So we might be really stressed with work or we might have just changed something in our family, like having a baby or getting a new pet. Um, you know, we might be going through grief uh, or dealing with um, pressure from society, pressure to look a certain way, to feel a certain way. There's so many things that can happen to us uh, in day-to-day -day life that affect our ability to want to be sexual um, and to have an active sex life. So I just want to start off by saying to have a lot of compassion for yourself if you're going through that right now um, and understand that you know sex isn't the most important thing in the world. Um, and if you're just not feeling it right now, that's okay. Um, you know, do a check-in with yourself, see how you're doing, um, and, and just be really, really kind to yourself and really patient. Um, that being said, if your sex life is something you want to work on and you're frustrated, like you used to desire your partner all the time and you felt like you would always want to jump their bones, and now when you look at them, you just have like no desire or no thing to want to have sex with them, uh, but you want to cultivate that desire again, I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks that you can do to help uh, re-blossom your sex life. Let's say that. So yeah, I've been there before. I've definitely experienced lulls, um, and during those lulls, I questioned so much. I questioned my relationships. I questioned my sexuality. I've questioned like you know who I am if I even am sexual. Um, so I don't want you guys to to think that any of that is not normal. Um, it's completely normal to wonder about you know why. Why was I feeling one way a few months ago or a year ago or five years ago and now I no longer feel that way? Um, things change, people change, um, but it doesn't always mean that you no longer desire your partner or that you've changed your sexual preference or that you know something's wrong with you. It can just be the situation. So here are some tips for how to reignite a stale sex life. It might seem counterintuitive, but you'll want to take sex completely off the table. So lots of times desire can be initiated by not having access to the thing that we want. So for example, like if you're, you know, starting a diet um, and you know, you go out into the street and all you see is ice cream and cookies and fried foods, right? But you're on this diet and you know, you're not supposed to be having them. It might start to be more appealing to you, right? And you know, you might have that really big urge to, to dive into those foods. So you can take a similar approach with your sex life. Take it off the table. So t say to your partner, sit down, have a conversation and say, you know, for the next week or month, we're not going to have sex. Like we can't, it's off the table. It's not happening. Make sure your partner is on board with it too. Um, and hold you accountable and see what it feels like to have absolutely no pressure to have sex. Um, see what it feels like to have to see your partner and not be able to engage with them sexually. Sometimes removing that option makes us want it more. Um, and it's a great kind of quick like trick and tip to switch on. Um, just remove yourself from having that option and, and even tell that to your partner and have them hold you accountable uh, and just see if that sparks any desire for you. Um, I know for me personally, when I know sex is off the table, it's like, oh wait, no, but I w really, really want that. Um, and I start desiring it more. So it's a fun kind of quick trick and it's interesting to see too how long couples last once you do. Okay, the second tip I have is to plan sex. 
So oftentimes our lives get busy, um, you know, stress happens, we have different things going on at different times and sex becomes something that gets on the back burner. Um, and some people think planning sex is not really sexy and it's supposed to be spontaneous, but planning sex can actually be very sexy. Um, if you agree with your partner that you want to have sex X amount of times you know, per week or per month and you choose the day and time, um, maybe it's Friday date night or maybe it's Saturday morning before the kids get up or on your lunchtime break, when you plan something, you actually can get excited for it and, and you'll look forward to it and it also takes the stress off of when it's not in that planned time. So you're not going to feel stressed, you know, when you come home from a long day at work feeling like, oh, your partner is desiring sex but you don't want to do it and then, but you don't want to make them feel bad and you're trying to figure out the best way to like decline or, or you're just going to do it and then you're going to be stressed out because you're not, you didn't want to have sex and you know, it gets into all these kind of like tricky territories. So planning it out and having an agreed upon stance. Um, with your partner about when you guys do want to have sex is a great way to help spark desire. Also, it gives you something to look forward to. Um, you can plan, like like I said, like a nice date night around it or, you know, get a cute little outfit or, you know, come up with a sex game or something that you guys want to play on that night um, or day or afternoon, whatever floats your boat. Um, but planning it can also help with, you know, getting some excitement. Um, you can also take turns. So, like, one time your partner plans it, then you plan it. Um, and you know, maybe you do it in different rooms or different places and, and kind of spark some desire that way. Another option is to create some distance and excitement. Um, so oftentimes when our sex lives get stale, it's because we're doing the same thing over and over again. It's like going to the same restaurant and ordering the same food. Um, you know exactly what to expect and it becomes less exciting and less fun. So try to think of ways where you can create excitement. So maybe it's trying something new. Um, if you've tried everything under the sun, maybe create some distance in your relationship. So maybe you go away for a weekend or a week without your partner um, and you let them miss you and you kind of, you know, cultivate some mis mystery, right? Maybe you don't talk as much while they're away. So when you get back, you have more things to bond over and, you know, you crave wanting to see them more. So sometimes we just see our partners every day and we know exactly what to expect and exactly what's going to happen. And it's nice to have that distance, let them miss you, um, you know, have something exciting, maybe happy and change it up uh, that can help spark desire. And then my last tip, uh, and this one, I don't want it to seem overwhelming or scary because I think this should also be really normalized, uh, is potentially see a sex therapist. So if you're finding that these, you know, at home, like self remedy tips just aren't working for you, like you've done it all, um, and you are at a loss and you don't understand what's going on, uh, talking with a professional um, and a sex therapist, someone who specializes in sex therapy, can be really, really helpful for uncovering maybe some deeper issues or traumas that you are holding on to that's affecting your sex life um, with your partner um, and can be really, really valuable. So I definitely recommend reaching out to someone, getting help and support um, if you need to, uh, and not feeling any shame in that or, or any embarrassment. Um, I think it's actually a really powerful thing, and I think it's something that everybody should do at least once in their life, um, because you get to uncover parts of yourself that you maybe didn't know were causing these issues. Okay, and then to wrap up the video, I just wanted to go over three things that you should not do um, when your sex life has gone stale and you're trying to fix it. Uh, try to avoid these. I don't think these are going to, these will not help. Um, and that is to A, not tell your partner about it. So, you know, keeping it quiet, keeping it to yourself, um, not communicating to your partner where your head's at or how you're feeling is not going to help either of you fix this problem. Um, you need open and honest communication in order to talk about sex and feel good about sex. Um, so please, please, please communicate with your partner and don't keep it in. <laughs> Um, second thing that you don't want to do is force it. Never, ever, ever force yourself to have sex if you do not want to. Um, A, you, you never have to do that. You should never, ever, ever feel forced to have sex. And if you do, that is a huge problem and we have bigger issues to fry and I do want you to go speak to someone. Um, because you should never feel forced into having sex. Um, you should always be able to communicate with your partner. So if you're ha having those situations, please, please, please go speak to someone because it's not okay. Um, and also if you're forcing yourself to have sex to make someone else happy, um, resentment is just going to build from that. So just don't do it. It's not going to help. Um, you want to have open, honest communication with your partner. Uh, and then the last one, this one might seem a little counterintuitive, 
but try not to recreate previous times that you've had sex and it's been awesome. Um, the reason why I say that is, so for example, maybe you guys went to Mexico and you had the best sex of your lives in Mexico and so you decide that you're going to book another trip to Mexico, get there, and it's going to happen again. You know, that might happen, but usually what happens is that the context has changed. So even though you go to the same resort, you have the same place in Mexico, you're ready to have the best sex of your lives, um, when you first went you might have been young adults with no kids and you might have not had body issues then or you might have not had relationship issues then. There's so much context around when great sex has happened and re trying to recreate it is hard to do because you often can make the same environment but the context isn't the same. So you can go to the same place but you're not in the same place that you were and so it's like trying to fit into your jeans from high school when you're 50 years old. <laughs> it's just not going to work, it's going to be frustrating, you're going to feel uncomfortable um, and it's going to be a letdown, right? Um, so try not to recreate things that have worked well in the past, but instead try to figure out what's going to work well in your new context. So yeah, that was everything I wanted to talk about today. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope it helps you with reigniting passion and desire in your sex lives. Um, I love talking about this stuff, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram at CDO Wellness. I love chatting with you guys. Um, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you for another video shortly.